Hello peeps, welcome back to Big Deck Player. I am Matt Sparks, your host, and today, for the second time, we're taking a look at a Paladin deck. This deck is called the Winnedin, uh, and this was uh, posted on Hearthpone by somebody by the name of Marty Sun. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, I've had some success with this one, and uh, some, some fun with this one as well. Um, so let's take a look at the deck. Uh, as per usual, this deck <laughs> includes Blood Mage Thalnos, and as per usual, I still don't have Blood Mage Thalnos. Uh, so instead of the Blood Mage Thalnos card, which is a two cost, one spell power, draw a card, death rattle, um, I've put the Azure Drake in because it's the closest one uh, with the with the effects on it. So that's the, only, that's, that's the reason why the Azure Drake is in there. Now, let's have a look at the deck as it should be. All the other cards are as they are on the uh, Hearthbone forum. So we'll start off with the secret. It's the only secret in the deck is the Noble Sacrifice, um, which is really useful if you're having trouble taking out something or you want to get rid of something that's only got two cost, maybe... Um, maybe something like a fairy dragon, which I have one of this. Because the fairy dragon can't be targeted by spells or hero powers, if the fairy dragon attacks whilst you've got a noble sacrifice uh, active, that will kill it, obviously, because it's got a to attack. So, this, this spell can be really useful. Really, really useful indeed. Um, but you have to be careful as to when you play it. Um, so next up, uh, let's have a look at other removal actually before we move on to the other cards. We've got stuff like equality. It's not technically removal, but it changes the health of all minions to one. So that combined with something like this, Consecration, which deals two damage to all enemies, including the hero. Um, using equality followed by Consecration means that you will clear everything on the board on your enemy's side. There's no way that anything will live um, so that's pretty useful. Um, okay, for the rest of removal, we have the True Silver Champion, uh, which is a uh, 4 damage sword. Uh, you can get to use it twice, because it's got 2 durability, and it will restore 2 health to you. And uh, what else have we got? Oh, and we've got Avenging Wrath, which is a little bit RNG, um, depending on how many uh, minions they've got on the board. But again, this coupled with uh, the equality spell um, could be pretty useful but it is a bit random so even if they've got lots of minions on the board if you use equality there's no guarantee that it's going to hit each of those minions because it's random so it might hit some of them and then hit the hero it might hit all of them and not the hero it, you know it's um, it's a bit random that's why it says random uh, so that's pretty much it as far as the actual uh, removal is concerned. Um, for general uh, minions on the board, we've got stuff like the Argent Squire, we've got the Lepanome. Again, the Lepanome, I think, is possibly one of the best one-cost cards because you're guaranteed two damage at least. Um, Argent Squire is great because it's got a Divine Shield, so it lasts a little bit longer. Obviously, as a Paladin, you get... 1-1 uh, one, one minions as your hero power as well so um, so when you use uh, stuff like equality it won't matter too much if you use it early in the game uh, Argent Protector is really good because it's uh, it will give a little bit more survivability to something else so for example the Leper Gnome if you want to get even more value out of the Leper Gnome you can give it a Divine Shield <laughs> um, Fairy Dragon Fairly standard, uh, two cost with three attack, two health. One of the better two cost cards in my opinion, just because you can't be targeted by spells or hero powers. I only got one of those in the deck though. Two knife jugglers. I love the knife juggler effect. I love the mechanic for the knife juggler. Um, really useful. And in a paladin deck, it's made better because your hero power summons a minion. So that's great. Now this is where the deck becomes interesting because it's got two Sword of Justice. Now, the Sword of Justice will give one attack and one health to any minion you play whilst you have this equipped. 
So that means the Argent Squire becomes a 2-2 with Divine Shield. The Leponome would become a 3-2 with, uh, with the Death Rattle. Uh, you know, the Argent Protector will become a 3-3. The Fairy Dragon becomes a 4-3. Everything starts getting a little bit more tricky to get rid of whilst you've got the Sword of Justice uh, equipped. And so stuff like Scarlet Crusader, which is normally a 3-1 with Divine Shield, the only reason that's a good card in this deck is if you play it with the Sword of Justice, because then it becomes a 4-2 with Divine Shield. So it's, it's essentially the same as an Argent Commander, just without the charge, but for half the cost. That's pretty good. Um, obviously then, it, if you play the Argent Commander, that becomes a 5-3, which makes it a lot more survival because now it's, it's been nerfed recently so that it's now gone down to two health instead of three so it gives it a bit more survivability once the the shield's gone um and obviously we got uh the spell breaker for the silence we've only got the one oh and i completely forgot for removal <laughs> such a dumbass hammer of wrath deal three damage and draw a card now if all goes well you probably won't really need to draw cards that much. Um, if it doesn't start going well, there is Divine Favour. The only, there's only one of them in the in the deck. Because, in theory, you should only ever need one. If you're going to need any at all. Um, I've found that I've not really used it very much when playing this deck. I think I've maybe used it once. And uh, the my opponent was playing... I think it was a Warlock, and he wasn't really playing any cards, and he was just using Life Tap a lot, until he had about nine cards, and then uh, by that point I'd been playing cards and, and wearing him down slowly. So I only had about two or three cards left, so I figured I'd just use, <laughs> use the other cards in my hand, and then use Divine Favor, and then all of a sudden I've got nine cards in my hand again, and uh, yeah, he was boned by that point, so... Uh, yeah, it's a pretty strong deck from my experience. I haven't played a huge amount with it, but we're going to play with it today and see how we get on. Uther versus Gul'dan! Your soul shall be mine! I will fight with honor. Alright, so we're up against a Warlock. This is a pretty good starting hand. Uh, I'm quite glad I got the Sword of Justice early. Uh... Don't really want that yet, and I don't really want that yet. I'm hoping for a couple of low-cost low minions. That's not what I wanted. Oh well, never mind. I guess I'll be using my hero power. We do have the coin, and we do get to go second, which is pretty useful. Uh, so I'm just gonna... That was a mistake. Um, okay. Well met. Hi. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm just going to skip the turn because we haven't got anything to play. You. So hopefully we'll start getting some of the low-cost minions out soon Why because uh, we're going to need them. But we have got the equality and we have got the consecration in the hand, so that's useful. Okay, so this turn we could play the Leponome. I could Leponome and then coin into Argent Protector and give the Leponome... Uh, the shield because that way he won't get picked off with something like a uh, spell thing that I can't remember the name of the warlock has so let's put let's put that out let's use the coin there we go and between between those two minions, I can take rid of, I can get rid of the Void Walker next turn. What is that spell that the Warlock has that deals one damage, draws a card? I really can't remember. I'm sure we'll see it at some point, but that was the spell I was worried about anyway. We must cleanse the Sunwell. Oh, okay. This uh, this is not going quite how I wanted. Okay. Well, I could use sort of I could equip my a sword of justice, um, or I could put out the noble sacrifice. 
Uh, I could equality mm. and change its health to one. I think I'm just going to put out this. Put out the noble sacrifice. And uh, do I really want to hit that? Yeah, we kind of need to start getting rid of some of his minions, otherwise he's going to start He's going to start building up minions behind his taunt. The Noble Sacrifice will protect it from one thing anyway. Yeah, so he's going to start getting lots of things if we're not careful, so we need to, uh, we need to start getting rid of these minions as quickly as we can. Might have to Consecration next turn without the equality. Especially, especially as we can't target the. Um, oh, he didn't go for me. That's uh, odd. Or I could equality and start picking them off. I might do that actually instead. I could equality, and then I can take out most of these. Or I could consecrate. I get rid of that and that. That goes down to two health. That goes down to one mm. health. I can take rid of. Yeah, that's probably a better idea. Get rid of that. To battle. There we go. Well played. Thank you. Thanks, Limdu. So yeah, we're at uh, rank seventeen. Uh, I haven't been playing an awful lot of Hearthstone recently. I've been playing some other things instead. Okay, so turn five, I think Sword of Justice has got to come out because we've got to get that out soon. And we shall use. Oh, I didn't really want that, I wanted more minions. Let's get the Sword of Justice. Let's get the Silver Hand Recruit out who will get buffed and he'll be a 2 2. So he can take. He can trade for the Kobold next turn, providing he's still alive. In fact, next turn I could Argent Protector the Silver Hand Recruit, ready for this? and then he wouldn't need to trade because he'd still be alive. Okay, so have we got six? Mm. What I might do mm. then is I might use equality and then I can get rid of both of those. Give him the divine shield. He can then take out that guy, and then with the sword, I can take out this guy, and then I can bring out another one of these. He'll get buffed up to two, and I have board control. Yes, I think that was probably the best play. Now I've got divine favor in my hand, so if he doesn't, pl oh. that wasn't ideal. <laughs> Why do you call? Okay. Well, I can use Hammer of Wrath to get rid of that. Uh, let's get. Reporting for duty. Let's get the last one of them out, and I'm not going to use that because. That only works for the turn that they can attack, so there's no point in using that just yet. Okay, so we have got true silver champion, so we can start. We must cleanse the sun. Oh, okay.
not sure. They probably should have done that the other way around. They probably should have, should have put that one out first, and then that one, because then they could have buffed the wolf. And now, yeah, that was that was a bit dumb. <laughs> Okay, so what should we do? We could Consecrate, which will get rid of both of those things. Uh, and I could True Silver Champion as well. That was a mistake. Yes, it was. It was. You, you're, you're right there. Okay, let's, let's, let's get rid of both of those. We'll equip the True Silver Champion. We'll hit him for two, and then we'll hit him for four, and I get two health back as well. And the lead expands, although he does have card advantage, but I do have Divine Favor, so uh, I think we can make use of that next turn, possibly. Yeah. Dingo. <laughs> yes. So has he got, he's got four cards. So if I play some of my other cards first... So I can play these two cards first, and then I can use my Divine Favor, I can draw a few more. Oh, Knife Juggler. Cool. Okay, so if we Knife Juggler, Abusive Sergeant, so that's three mana. Yep, that's okay, we can, we can do all that. Okay, that's good. So that gives me two attack this turn. So if we put the juggler out first, and then the knife juggler, fight, <laughs> that's exactly what we wanted, exactly what we wanted. So I can take him out with the sword, I can take that out with that, let's put the noble sacrifice up and then let's draw some cards. Alright, and then let's put the Fairy Dragon out as well, which triggers that. And we're in a pretty strong position. Uh, next turn we've got the choice we can do Avenging Wrath, which will do 8 damage to him, which will kill him. Because uh, he's got nothing else on the board to take up some of the, the randomness of the blows. Uh, we've also got the Argent Commander, which has charged. That does 4 damage okay. straight out the bat. Okay. Well, I think we'll Avenging Wrath then. Uh, just because it might help get rid of the taunt that he has there. We'll see. What we got there? A silence. Oh, that was pretty smart. See so what. Still got two mana, but I don't think you should be life tapping. No. Aha! We have another knife juggler. <laughs> Alright, first and foremost, let's use Avenging Wrath and see what happens. Well, that's the owl gotten rid of. That's the taunt gotten rid of. And that's it. And that's the game. Now, I was pretty lucky with some of the card draws. But. The deck is strong enough that you don't have to rely on card draw too much. As I say, you saw what I did with the Divine Favor. You only need one of them in the deck. I guess if you're if you if you do find that you're really struggling, you could put another one in. But I really don't think it's really necessary to put more than one uh, Divine Favor in. Um, but that's probably the best way to use it is to push your advantage, and then once you get down to a few cards, if your if opponent has three or four cards and you've only got one or two then that's the best time to use it so that's the Winnedin deck uh, I shall post a link to the deck on hearthpone.com in the description if you do make this deck and play some games let me know how you get on if you make a video send me a link to the video so I can check it out and see how well you do uh, so that's the Winnedin deck I think it's great fun there's not too many high cost cards in there either, so it should be fairly easy to play at, uh, if you're just getting into the game. 
So thanks very much for watching. I've been Matt Sparks. Remember to like, comment, favorite, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I shall see you in the next one. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.